Hello students, welcome to SIBPS online classes. I am Vishali Gupta and I am teaching you the next topic of today that is story sums. In previous class we have read about long division method and today we will learn about story sums. So I have two story for you and let's see how to solve it. So let's read first question. 63 oranges had to be shared. Share karne hai hume 63 oranges. Kitne oranges? Equally among seven people. 63 oranges. How many logo ko dene hai? Seven logo ko dene hai. How many oranges did each person get? Each person matlab eight person ko kitne orange milenge? So previously also I have told you when we are given answer of more thing and we have to find answer of one thing it means we have to do division. जब हमें ज़्यादा का दिया होता है और वन का निकालना होता है तो डिवीज़न होता है। वन मोर थिंग यहाँ पे लिखा है शेयर्ड। शेयर्ड का मतलब डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करना, डिवाइड करना। तो फ्रॉम दिस आल्सो वी कैन सी दैट वी हैव टू डू डिवीज़न इन दिस क्वेश्चन क्योंकि शेयर करना सब में बांटना, राइ so how to make the statements now? अब मुझे ये पता लग गया कि divide हो गया इस क्वेश्चन में। So let's make the statement. So statements we can find every statement from each line. First line is 36 oranges had to be shared equally among seven people. तो इसी में से मैंने कुछ important words pick कर लिए। Main word क्या था? Oranges को person people को देना। So I have started the statement from number of and remember this. जब भी ऐसी कोई चीजें आती हैं जो countable होती हैं, so we write number of। हम statement कहाँ से start करते हैं? Number of से। so number of oranges दे रहा था तो oranges seven person gets। number of oranges seven person को कितने मिल रहे हैं? Sixty three। so same to same statement we can write in next only in place of seven I can put one। number of oranges because यहाँ पे लिखा है अब each को कितने मिलेंगे यानी one person को कितने मिलेंगे number of oranges one person gets और जब हम one का निकालते हैं so we divide the bigger number with smaller number sixty three divided by seven remember not to divide or multiply with one यहाँ in statement समझ में one से ना तो multiply करते हैं ना divide because there is no use of it so sixty three divided by seven and when I divide in 7 table, I will get 63 or 9. 7, 9 are 63. Here is 0, 0. So, what is the question? 9. So, my answer is also 9. So, each person will get 9 oranges. If we do distribution or number line, then also the answer would be same. Let's move to next question. 36 children were to be seated on benches. How many children are 36 children. Where do they have to sit? On benches. A bench could accommodate only four children. एक bench पे सर कितने बच्चे आ रहे हैं? Four बच्चे आ रहे हैं. How many benches were needed? अब हम एक-एक line पढ़ते हैं और उनकी statement बनाते हैं and then see कि इस question में multiply होगा या divide. Thirty six children were to be seated on benches. Simple is total children कितने हैं हमारे पास? So total children thirty six which I have written. मुझे ये लिखने की जरूरत ही नहीं है were to be seated on benches. मुझे ये पता होना चाहिए कि children कितने हैं that's it thirty six. Now moving to next line. A bench could accommodate. Accommodate मतलब एक bench पे आ सकते हैं, एक bench पे बैठ सकते हैं. A bench could accommodate only four children. So simple statement. Children on one bench. I will not take could accommodate only because it's of no use. मुझे children एक bench पे कितना आ रहा है वो पता होना चाहिए. So I have written statement like this. Children on one bench. Four. Simple. Let's move to next line. How many benches were needed? So number of benches. मुझे कितने benches चाहिए? बच्चे अब एक बात ध्यान दो. In multiplication chapter you have learnt जब one का दिया होता है ज़्यादा का निकालना होता है तो multiply करते हैं. देखो यहाँ पे one bench का दिया हुआ है. But कहीं भी लिखा नहीं हुआ कि two bench का या five bench का answer find out करो. So we will not do multiply in this question. Also यहाँ पे total children दिए हैं और number of things निकालने हैं. जब one जब ज़्यादा का दिया हो वन का निकालना है, we do divide. लेकिन जब वन का दिया है और ज़्यादा का नहीं निकालना, so we not do multiply. In place अगर number of चीज़ें निकालनी हैं, so we have to do divide. So thirty six divided by four. Now in four table we need to search thirty six. At ninth place four nine is a thirty six. So I do minus. This is quotient and this is remainder. So this answer is also my nine. So now, कितने benches चाहिए हमें इतने बच्चों को बिठाने के लिए? We need nine benches here. So these are two story problems we have learned today. So we'll be doing more in next class. That's all from my side. Thank you.